Veterinary surgery is big business. From private surgeries to expensive treatments, pet health has never been so much in the public's frame of mind. Today's vets have all the equipment and modern technology they need to ensure your pet gets the help and attention it deserves. However, it was not always the case. In this programme, we will show the changes through veterinary life over the years. We join Green Pastures Veterinary Centre in North Somerset, which is an established centre with over 20 years of experience. Veterinary surgeon Cathy Bartram is the founder and has been in the industry for over 16 years. She has seen many changes. The starting point for my career as a veterinary surgeon was in the 1970s, when I was a schoolgirl seeing practice in my local vets in Lee, Lancashire. As to why, let me show you. In this room is where it all happened, with up to four vets, four pets, and their assorted owners all simultaneously having their consultations, examinations, and treatments. Once these surgeries were complete, operations would be performed in the same room. It was all certainly not to the standards that vets aspire to today. However, even in these circumstances, with very limited facilities, one particular veterinary surgeon, Jeff Holt, was very skilled and his talents made positive differences to the lives of his patients and their owners. After watching Mr Holt from the age of 14, Cathy knew that she wanted the vocational career of a veterinary surgeon. Yes, I was certainly seeing lots of changes. One of the most significant, I would say, is um, the number of women graduates who are now entering the profession. My observations would be that this increase in number of women has made veterinary work more compassionate and a much gentler place. Dogs are now equally popular because in the last 10 years cats have gained in popularity. And the status of pets within our household has also changed as most of the pets I see now live indoors with their owners as part of the family. In 1998, when Green Pastures opened, we registered three clients with six pets. However, in 2013, we saw 3,556 clients with 6,344 pets. The knowledge and development in veterinary medicine and surgery has increased exponentially in recent decades and clients expect so much more from us and I enjoy rising to that challenge. Here we do this through both staff training to keep us all up to date and by investment in equipment and in our facility. At Green Pastures, we have nurses caring for our inpatients here on site 24 hours a day because I want to be able to effectively treat sick pets. Our clients do not have to transport their sick pets to overnight centres and we're the only veterinary centre offering this level of service. We see our clients for emergency call-outs here at Green Pastures seven days a week and 365 days of the year. Although Cathy still owns and manages Green Pastures, this arrangement, once the norm in the UK, is becoming less common. Almost half the vets in Western Supermare of nationwide chains are big businesses which start up and buy veterinary centres. Almost as veterinary work has become more specialised and clients expect the same treatments for their pets as they receive, veterinary referral centres are developing to offer pets state-of-the-art facilities. This is a, an x-ray of a little dog that's actually been sick for over a week. We've taken an x-ray here and we've got this very suspicious shadow here in her abdomen. We need to understand what is happening in Lexi's tummy, so I need to go to surgery now and explore what's going on with her. Coming up next, an emergency in the OR, and we will find out once and for all what was really in Lexi's tummy.